place is vogue, place is important now. You only have to look at things like the industrial strategy and what's happening with that. It's all about place. As has been mentioned, Northern Powerhouse, Midlands Engine, macroeconomic entities, it's very competitive and you are in that competitive world. The place is the hero. It's where people come together, as we've heard. It's where people have resonance with. And the other thing as well is you have a brand that you need to be looking after. Hampshire exists as a brand. It's there. What are you doing about it? You need to be place-led, not organisation-led. We're in a world of collaboration. We're in a world where of, there is austerity in the public sector. You have to be place-led. And that means engaging, empowering and exciting your stakeholders and getting them connected with place. So we've taken a quick look um, at Hampshire, but it is interesting in that it has brought up some very interesting and exciting opportunities. What we do when we are thinking about place and place stories, what is Hampshire going to be for? Who is it going to be for? How is it special? Not unique, because very few places have unique things. And then when you've got that story, how do you play it out? So what we did was we did a heck of a lot of research. And most critically in this was the workshop, which was a private public sector workshop. So the first thing we did was we did what we would call a personification exercise. So basically, if Hampshire rocks up at your doorstep and you open the door, what is stood in front of you? So, traditional. Yes, knowledgeable, which I think we've heard a lot about knowledge. But too comfortable, too insular, too apathetic and confused. And that confused is confused about what on earth is its identity? What are the opportunities? What are the game changers for Hampshire? And the good bit is aerospace, countryside, two national parks, location, which we've talked about and heard about, two critical place hub cities, which you have to have. Because if you want young people, they want universities, they want cities, etc. Really, really important. Innovation, R&D, the defence bit, and then all a whole host of things around quality of life. I mean, that's just an amazing two slides. Obviously, there are some challenge areas. So what are the barriers? What do you think could trip you up? And there's things here about talent drain, an ageing demographic, it's too expensive, it's not exciting, it feels old, uh, the need to collaborate more inside and outside the place, what matters, what you should focus on, what you should say. And we kind of count with three critical areas. So if we take the air, you know, there is some serious R&D, high tech, some of it quite secretive. There's some globally significant stuff going on here. You've heard about it with the universities, aerospace, the aviation presence, the physics of the universe. You are an international centre for some of these things. Not a national one, an international one. And how many people know that? Not enough. Then you've got landscape, national parks, coastline. Other countryside, it's rural, green, but there's development underway where people could live here. There's the city opportunity that you've got to maximise more. You've got to. The city link to your rural element is absolutely fundamental in terms of how you move forward. People have to want to be here. And somehow they've got to be able to afford to be here. Then we've got the coast. We've got maritime engineering. We've got development along the coastline. We've got leisure stuff happening, housing. We've got the UK Centre of Excellence for oceanography. You also have some amazing brands. Desirable, sought after. Whether it's attractions or businesses, you've got things here that are great experiences, high performers, strong reputations. How are you linking them to place? The answer is, you're not. You're working well. It may not naturally be thought about a place of business for people outside, but as you've heard, strong economy with even more potential key sectors. From a business perspective, this is a place of significance. There are some dichotomies which you've probably picked up which are really interesting. 
global strategic, pretty secure, all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah, it's open spaces, big skies, all sorts of stuff like that. We've got technology, research, a centre of knowledge, but we've got a view of an ageing population that's stuck in the past and a bit traditional. You know, white middle class, but we've then got cities, which can be cultural hubs. And boy, the places need to have all that culture and creativity has been talked about. You need it in spades. You need to attract and retain professionals, but you're expensive and traditional and not viewed as very exciting. You have got assets and opportunities to die for, but you've got to tell people. You've got to tell your key audiences. And that can't just be the council. The stakeholders have to tell people. They must want to do that. Can you just say what was the driver and what was the mechanism? Who was it driving you mm, and sort of taking you on to do that? And how did they pass that down through all the players? The council has to be the facilitator, the enabler. So the local authority are totally involved, but they, whilst being totally involved, are letting others get on with it. And I think it, it needs to have that push from the council, because they've got a place leadership role. So they have to have the initial push. And then it's just about getting the right people around the table and putting the mechanisms on, in place. But you've got to create the story first. The story is the way you engage. That's the way you create ownership. You have to have ownership from the stakeholders, then they'll play. Southampton and Portsmouth have a very jaded view of the county. So how do we get them to march in step with us? make it place-led. The focus has got to be on place, on fuzzy geography. As soon as you get... It, it, you've got to take it away from being about politics and organisations and get it to place. As soon as you get it to place, the dialogue is completely different. Do you not think, though, that people still want to take ownership of that place? So how do you kind of break down the kind of idea that, oh, um, a district council as opposed to a county council has ownership over a place and that actually it's a win-win, convince them it's a win-win that they work together. Because that's about places understanding place hierarchy. And at the end of the day, you are in lots of different places at once. And once people realise that, it's absolutely fine. Because you're not taking anything away. You know, we're not taking anything away from the other places here. So the cities are still important. The smaller towns are still important. But you're also still in Hampshire.